Hi everyone, you're watching Flavors and this is Sakshi, your host and dost. Here's the list of ingredients which we'll need for making our authentic flavorful Thai paste. So let's get started. First step in a pan, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of cumin seeds and lightly roast them until they're light brown. So these look done now and we can remove them. So we'll now start making the paste. So I have a mixer grinder and I'm gonna add in the roughly chopped onion in it, then the cloves of garlic, a little bit of ginger. So we're just gonna cover the lid and crush it until it's a little coarse. Once that's done, we're gonna add in the lemongrass. Only use the roots part as that is the most flavorful. So I'm just gonna add in roughly chopped lemongrass into the mixer along with roughly chopped coriander stem. You may even use celery. Next, add in the roasted cumin and a little bit of water to adjust the consistency. So once we get a little smoother paste, we're going to add in the white vinegar and coriander powder. You may even use coriander seeds as that is used traditionally and also add in black pepper and blend it to a smooth paste. So now we're going to add in the main ingredient which are the chilies. So these have been soaked in hot water for 30 minutes and de-seeded. I'm going to add them into the mixer grinder and crush it to a smooth paste. Then add in the oil and salt. Now these both ingredients along with vinegar are the main um, preservatives in the paste which help it last for nearly a month in the freezer. So they are really important. Now we're now going to give this a final blend and our paste is almost ready. As a final step just grate in some lemon zest and mix it with a spoon. Do not add this in the mixer as it tends to become bitter later on. And our Thai paste is ready, which is really versatile. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more. Do like, share and subscribe to Flavors. Till then, this is me Sakshi signing off. Bye!